a very, very important uh, subject matter would be, what is a birth name? Most people celebrate their birthday. Um, they believe that that would have uh, great significance in their life. Um, so uh, we're going to just review what is a birth name. If you go into the Dictionary of Canadian Law, 5th edition, it states the following under birth name. It says, birth name is the legal surname of a person as recorded in the birth registration records of the jurisdiction where that person was born. I find that to be a very interesting definition because in essence, it says the birth name is the legal surname. Now, in order to invent, we'll say, which is Samuel Johnson's Dictionary of 1755, will clearly tell you that the word invent is actually used in a context of to deceive someone, to lie. It's a fiction. It's not truth. It's not reality. So in order to invent a natural person, they need a natural name that your natural parents would give you and then have that natural name take on the assignment or the debt of a legal surname. When you go into Black's Law 4th under Nomen, which is really a Latin version telling you in code that it's no man are in there. There's no man, it's a nomen, it's a fiction, it's not a man. It is now a fiction of a man, which we now would refer to as human. That's a doubtful man, someone who takes benefits and privileges under a doubtful title, claiming something that is not theirs, taking something for granted, basically being taken advantage of, but also consenting to it, to take advantage of a benefit of a doubt. So they give them benefits of the doubt, poor health insurance, poor basically unemployment, where they ploy them into a deceit and take advantage of them, but they need a consenting party to do that, Proverbs 11:15. So when we look at birth name and we see it for what it is, the birth name is a legal surname. They need you to take your natural name in order to attach it and then it's called a natural person. What an oxymoron. So you're gonna have a natural, artificially fictionized persona, a mask that now will cover up the truth of who you are. You're no longer natural. You're not in your original position with God because God is the origin of naming. All naming comes from him. But the legalists, those who oppose God through the legal bar associations, in order to gain power over you would require to deceive you to induce you to believe that something which is false is true, the definition really of legal fiction. So be careful what you take for granted and be careful because a birth name is the surname and when people celebrate that, they in essence are in a dual election and the word election that was defined in the same dictionary I quoted from has a very interesting, I would say, way of telling you what you're involved in. And so election says it's a doctrine which precludes, well, they're going to use the word person, of course, from exercising a right that is fundamentally inconsistent with another right if he has consciously and unequivocally exercised the latter. In other words, one cannot have one's cake and eat it too, or one cannot blow hot and cold. So you can't be a dead body corporate, the only legal person known to their law, 
and at the same time be truly the property of God. You can't be on both sides. You can't blow hot and cold. So a living body is hot. A dead body cop corporate is cold. Um, dead is ice. Um, and so the choice is up to you which side you'll be on. But the uh, judge who was quoting out of this law dictionary says, basically, you can't have your cake and eat it too. So no, you can't have your birthday cake blow out the candles and eat it too because you're on the wrong side. You have blown out the light of truth, which shows you're dead, and now you're in the dead body corporate of another.